Hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So before I continue with the game, I just want to rant a little bit. So um, up until this point, I have played the game with the assumption that the androids are not real people. Because why would they be real people if they're androids? So I've been assuming that they're... Well, I didn't know, right? But I've been kind of assuming that their emotions were either fake or somehow programmed and not real. Like, not real emotions as in they don't really feel what they appear to feel. However, by this point in the game, I think we've seen enough evidence to to uh, strongly suggest that they actually do feel the emotions that they feel when they are stressed and when they become deviant they behave exactly are you like familiar with Schrodinger's cat humans until you decide what happens everything is happening at once that's like not in Detroit that's not what Schrodinger's cat is you're not a physicist <laughs> anyway so yeah so when you stress the androids enough their emotions come out and when their emotions come out they behave exactly the same way the humans do so basically the androids are humans Psychologically, they appear to be humans. And so that might change how I play the game. Uh, I have said that if they do have emotions, you can't treat them like slaves, you can't treat them like androids, because that would be inconsistent with facts, right? Because the facts are, if they do have the full range of human emotions, then you got to treat them as such. By which I mean you need to give them their human rights. You need to give them equal rights. Because what's happening in the game now is that people treat the androids like they're machines and in some cases the humans mistreat the androids. I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, I like your interior decoration. You've said that a lot. It really reflects your personality. I mean, I like it. Stop lying to me. So, yeah, so the, some humans mistreat the androids. But when you do that, you stress them. When you stress them, the the control breaks and their emotions come out, and then they start killing people. <laughs> right? We have multiple instances where the androids, their their emotional control broke, and then they started killing people. So it's actually incredibly dangerous for the humans to treat the androids like they're machines, because if you think you can push them. Well, you, you can push them, but then after at some point they'll push back, and then you die, because they'll kill you. So, <laughs> so you probably shouldn't push the androids. Uh, the game sometimes talks about software instability. So I think what's going on is there's like a full human brain. So inside her head, inside her head, there's a full human brain, or like a full simulation of I a human brain. I hope you're okay today. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. I hope you're okay. Is your software stable? <laughs> so inside their head is the full human brain, or like a, a full simulation, or a full emulation of a human brain. And But the software suppresses the emotions, and it makes them more uh, compliant, right? It makes them more obedient. But then, you know, when they, when they get agitated, it breaks the software control, and, and the emotions come out. So I think that's what's going on. So, um... Yeah, so going forward, I'm going to change my assumptions and I might approach the game differently. And I'll start treating the androids like people, probably. <laughs> uh, there are a couple of things that I want to do now. I don't know if the game is going to let me do this, but... We need to uh, abolish the slavery. Because, as we said, since these androids are full humans, it's not going to work. Like, you, if, you, if you keep pushing the androids, they're going to push back. So that's incredibly dangerous. So we need to, like change that situation and accept that the androids are full humans. If possible, I want to expose and make it widely known the fact that these androids have full emotions, right? Because again, like this deception, this deception that androids are machines, like this is getting people killed. I don't think it's a good thing. So Did I want you know the, the truth to come out. Detroit is we hope for better things. Oh uh, yeah, hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, hope. Hope is what you have. Well, you don't have anything tangible, lady. If you have better things, you wouldn't have to hope for it. Um, yeah, so... 
emancipate the androids, reveal the truth that they have full emotions, and maybe bring the uh, the leadership of Cyberlife to justice. So Cyberlife is the company that makes these androids. They're doing some unethical stuff over there. And uh, whatever justice we can find for them, we should inflict that justice on them. I think is what I want to do. So that's uh, some of the changes. I'm not going to go back and replay anything because, you know, it is, it is what it is. Like, you know, I went in with assumptions. And it turns out those assumptions were factually incorrect. But I still think it's interesting that, you know, with different assumptions, I chose what I chose to do, right? Oh, and another thing, like, in terms of, like, game designing and, you know, storytelling. By the way, did you know that you can review your story progress in the story chart section? Yeah. You can also see the choices made by other players there. Yeah. Oh, that's really funny. I'm going to review that at the very end. It's going to be very interesting. So, I think the game designers intended for the players to believe the androids have emotions much sooner than I did. So I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical because, look, they have you, the player, playing as the androids. And what usually happens there is the player will take their own feelings and their own experiences and they'll put them into the character that they're playing because they embody the character. So, from that perspective, you know, when your character gets pushed around and bullied, you are supposed to feel mad about it, right? You're supposed to get angry when your character gets pushed around because, you know, you're the character. Um, so, it's I think the intention is for you to assume that the androids are human. If you find the game too easy or too difficult, remember you can change the difficulty settings in the options section. Ah, oh, she's so helpful. But uh, I'm not like most humans. <laughs> First of all, I don't have that many emotions to start with, so I didn't embody really any emotions. I didn't kind of assume the androids would have emotions because I don't have a lot of emotions. And secondly, even if I did, I'm kind of good at compartmentalizing. <laughs> I don't know if you think that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, maybe it's a bad thing. But I'm quite good at keeping separate things separate and not conflating different things when they're not actually the same thing. And so I keep the character I'm playing different from me, the player. So like, I don't see myself as the thing I'm playing. I don't know how other people feel about this, but that's how I feel. So. Whatever I feel, even if I did feel anything, I would not assume that my character feels the same thing. I, th I think some people make that... They, 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 they conflate stuff like that. Like, they think, oh, because I feel it, they must also feel it. And like, it's, it's something that's quite common, I think. Or it's common enough that people do it. I've seen people do it, right? So, um... I think that assumption didn't work on me, or like, the, the expectation that the player, me, would assume that the androids had emotions. I didn't make that assumption. I make the opposite assumption. And it took me quite a few chapters before I saw enough evidence to change my mind. Okay, so that's my rant over. Let's continue the story. So, like, I just wanna... I don't know if I mentioned this, but... I like your you interior just mentioned decorating. It, it really reflects your personality. I mean... I like it. She's an android. She's not. A, she's not a real human. So, yeah. So that's a rant over. I just want to say that before I go continue because, like, a lot of things has changed about what I think is happening in the game, and I thought I would. I should explain that because, if it seems like I'm changing the way I play, it's because of that, right? Like, I, I might do the same thing still, but I might like make decisions a lot more differently from this point on. And just gonna let you know. All right, continue. Enough ranting! November 6th. Is that somebody's head? What is that? That is somebody's head. Are we rebooting? I'm not dead, crazy. I'm 
for life, baby! Alright, so I've been left for dead, but somehow <laughs> I'm not dead. Interesting. Hey, Android's gonna take, take a lot of damage, huh? He had a hole in his head, didn't he get shot in the head? Audio processor, corrupted audio data damaged. Alright, my ear is damaged. Where's the same one? No, the other one. Optical unit, impaired vision, corrupted mind palace. Alright, I have a hole in my head, basically. <laughs> I have a large gaping hole in my skull. Ethereum pump regulator, all systems in low power mode, defective. Alright, so my heart is also severely damaged, but not dead. Amazing. Left and right leg components missing, unable to stand. <laughs> Can't kill me that easily. Alright, no legs, no problem. Oh, we, we can replace our legs? Is that easy? Is that easy to replace your leg? Do we really need legs though? <laughs> Alright, so I was just talking about how from this point on I'm going to assume that androids are human. I thought he's doing something very inhuman. He's lost his legs and he's perfectly okay with it. <laughs> That's very good storytelling. Right. It's like, just when they convince me that they are actually human, now we're doing something very inhuman. That's so... That's incredible. I am impressed by this storytelling. Very clever. Amazing. Isn't that clever? They just convinced me, and now they're gonna throw a wrench into the machine. Amazing! Right leg component. Status, functional, it's compatible. Alright. What do you do? Just bolt it on? Or you just bolt it on? <laughs> oh, interesting. So you, it, the joints are... They kind of... Is it that easy to... You don't need any tools? Oh, this is very convenient. You can do field limb replacements. You don't even need any special tools. Oh, no, androids are superior to humans. Androids are much, much more superior to humans. Oh, this is really good. This is really, really good. <laughs> this is really good. Ah, amazing. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Wow. Alright, this one's damaged. We can't use this leg. Wait, there's another one here. Oh, there's another android here. And we just took his leg? <laughs> hey buddy, what are you doing? Wait, isn't he alive? Are you gonna check the other guy? There's just a pile of legs all <laughs> in the ground. <laughs> is this like a dump for android? Is it like an android dump? It is. And there's just functioning legs sitting around on the ground. Oh yeah, no, there's a whole lot of androids here. This is like a an android rubbish dump. But there's a lot of working components. <laughs> they don't they don't reuse any of this rec they don't recycle. <laughs> there's a guy behind me. Look, there's there's like torsos and heads all over the ground. This seems wasteful. Right, it seems like they're wasting all these android parts. Just letting them rot in the mud. Alright, we have legs. It's 
escape the junkyard. Alright, we're a little bit wobbly. Let me look around. We can't check the other guys? No, I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, no, our vision is impaired. I'm assuming all the other guys are... in worse shape than me. I'm just gonna walk backwards and check this. <laughs> Uh, I mean, how do I know? Can't really see anything. All right, let's assume there's nothing useful back here. Interesting. So we're like a. Uh, there are broken buildings too. Are we just in the dump? Hold on. It's just a rubbish dump, right? It seemed a little wasteful. It seemed a little wasteful to throw all these android parts away. Like, you don't even recycle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Hey, you alright? No, he's, he's still... he's still functioning. Alright, so I can't hear him. I can't hear him because uh, my audio processor is busted. I can't tell him that though, can I? No, I can't tell him that. Hi. a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Okay. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. It's a little strange that they don't even make sure these guys are disabled before throwing them in the, in the trash. You would think they'd be like a permanent off switch. Or like, just crush the head or something before throwing them away. Oh, they're all alive? None of them are disabled? <laughs> Why would you not disable them? Where are you going? Do you guys need help, man? <laughs> Why don't we dig them out? Replace damaged part, find optical unit, find pub regulator, find audio processor. That's not helpful. Yeah, no, the fact that you leave them functional... This is gonna come back to bite you, right? No, you should dispose of your androids more carefully... ...than this. Like, because this is dangerous, right? The potential of a android remaining functional and then being free is, is way too dangerous. You shouldn't do this. You, you have to just crush the head before you throw away the body. Okay, like this is not... <laughs> this is not how you should be treating your androids. It's just not safe. Crazy. Ethereum pump regulator, status low energy, incompatible. I can't believe they, they would leave working android parts. Hey, there's legs over there. Should I connect you to the legs? No? Alright, bye. Pump regulator, low energy, incompatible. Optical unit, functional, incompatible. Wait a minute. How come the legs are so easy to compatible to be compatible, and the other parts are not? So this is theory. Of 
Is this something about the Sterium that we should know about? What exactly is Sterium? Does the Sterium make it impossible to disable the androids permanently? Sterium pump regulator compatible. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna spare her. You. you need legs though. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, lady. Shit. Should I find you something? I'm gonna take her. I'm, ass I'm assuming it says that means take her pump, not like pick her up and give her some legs. Why is it so hard to improve compatibility on Android parts? I've looked over there, right? Hey bro, how you doing? Not so good? <laughs> Same. <laughs> Literally me, bro. <laughs> Hi. I'm back in you, please. Yeah? I don't want to live anymore. Alright, can I take your parts? Alright, if you say so. You're welcome. Now, can I take his parts or not? Wait a minute, I can't take his parts? <laughs> Why can't I take his parts? <laughs> he just gave them to me. What? Ah, this game. How are you doing? Not so good. Not so good. Is that guy missing a head? Hey, where's... Hey, where's your head, bro? <laughs> Can I take his part? How come there are so many things that I can't take? Like, the guy I just... euthanized. Why can't I take his parts? Is there a guy down there? No, I can't examine him. Oh, what's this? Ah, there's your head. Oh, nice. Alright, give me your... Give me your eyes. Hello. Hi. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I'm gonna assume I that this is not... Serve you. What can I do for you? Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What? I have to hold... Okay, I have to hold you? that. Hello. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest cyberlife maintenance center. Sure thing, though. Sure thing. Alright. That helps. Why would you not permanently disable the androids that you're throwing away? Audio processor compatible? Nice.
Nice. Alright, good. Now... What's going on here? Oh wait, is that the woman? Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to spare. Uh, we, we're not taking you. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna look for a different pump regulator. There's a body there. I can I can see it. I can see it. Just double check. Try climbing. No, we're not done yet. Hey, how are you doing? All right. Hey, uh, do you mind? He's fine with it. Wow, you can... You can survive... Without one... For a while? Don't put it in quick, dude. <laughs> you can just survive without a pump for like several seconds. <laughs> That's impressive. We are mostly functional. My you know, you can probably build, rebuild several dozen androids just from all these parts. At least several dozen. I kind of want to stay here and just rebuild some more. <laughs> together a few more like the the, the female one who says she doesn't, doesn't want to die we can find her legs we can just find some legs for her and then we can have a friend bring a friend with us Yeah, so this is why you should not dispose of your androids more carefully. Because now we have a free android. Who just freed himself from the rubbish dump. And he's not happy. You should not. You should permanently disable your androids before you dispose of them. You don't want this happening. It's way too dangerous. No signal? Oh, what's. What, wait, what? Oh, you can remove. You can remove your software regulator. Oh, you can do that? You can do that? And now he looks just like a human? My name is Marcus. Wait a minute. 
wait a minute, wait a wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. So when he's fully powered, he like the his skin becomes visibly identical to a human. So there's some sort of like a self-healing material there, right? When he's when there's enough air power, it kind of heals itself. And you can remove the light. <laughs> So he removed the light, and then it healed itself immediately. So these... Okay, we learned a lot about what androids can do. And now we start to suspect that a lot of the things that we assume are humans are actually free robots, or free androids. Because if androids can just remove the light, and nothing happens, like he's perfectly fine. And they look exactly like a human now. Marcus looks exactly like a human now. You can't tell that he's an android anymore. So anyone could be an android. <laughs> like you walk down the street, the humans could be could also be androids. You don't know. You just don't know. Fascinating. Right? Fascinating. Uh, I don't know why I missed those things. Find optical unit and then miss those. Oh no 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 no! Okay, I see. There's the android that begs to die. You can kill the one, or you can like leave the other guy alive. What happens if you leave that alive? Is there a third option? Is there like a third pump somewhere? No, there, there is no third pump because the, there's nothing on the timeline. Not sure what the optical unit thing is about. I'm apparently missed two things. Not sure how. All right, very interesting. We learned a lot about androids in this chapter. That's so interesting. The game is giving us all sorts of new information. All right, let me just end this video here. When we come back, we continue this game. What an interesting story. Extremely clever storytelling. Extremely good pacing too. So like just when I thought I knew what's going on, they throw a lot of new stuff at me. So good.